One very unexpected thing of being in a suit in an airport is that two people already think I work here and have asked me where the toilets are. Actually, I want to know where the toilets are. I'm not much help to anybody. Welcome to my actual home. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different. We all know Ryanair as the lowest of the low cost carriers, but is it possible to make Ryanair feel first class? Well, today I'm going to find out because I'm going to fly to Madrid. I've got a ticket for £14.99 and I'm going to spend a little bit extra to try and make this feel like a first class experience. But first, I'm going to change this up a little bit more. Sure. That's more like it. I put that work in now watch we work. So it's time to go. I put that work in now watch we work. I ain't talking nine to five, talking all the time. I put that work in now watch we work. I put that work in now watch we work. I put that work in now watch we work. I ain't talking nine to five, talking all the time. So for a super luxurious journey to the airport, I'm using the car service Wheelie, which I love, and they offer two different kinds of car service, business class and first class. And of course I went for first class, which means I got an S-Class Mercedes, which is so comfortable, so much room and space, and you even get Evian to drink. So we've arrived at Stansted Airport. That was a really comfortable ride. Thank you so much. This was very sexy. Um, now let's see how Stansted Airport fares in making this journey first class. Stansted Airport terminal is packed today. And so the next way we're gonna make this experience first class is by going through the fast track security lane, which I've already paid for hopefully it's going to make everything much quicker. There is a lot of people milling about here, so I'm hoping this is going to be quick. So whilst the staff were pretty rude and it didn't feel like the most premium experience ever, it was much quicker. The queues were absolutely enormous at security, and so I got through much faster than anybody else did. I've just got through now, but I've spotted this other sign that says Fast Track behind me. Fast Track Plus, I don't know if this is gonna work for us, but I'm gonna have a go. I'm sort of by the toilets and it smells toilety, but if we scan our boarding pass here, right through these doors behind me, instead of having to walk through the whole terminal, the escape lounge is right here. And so actually, that cheeky little Fast Track lane helped me out, avoided the crowds, and now I can head in here. Hi, how are you? Um, I've got priority pass, but I also made a booking, so I don't know if I needed to make a booking. It's Kelvin. That's right. Okay, great. So to make this experience premium, had to come to the one and only lounge at Stansted, and that is the Escape Lounge, uh, where they do hot food, of which today there is a chickpea curry and some pasta basil pesto. Lots of cold, nice snacks here, but right over here is a bar, and there's only one way you can make a first class experience first class, and that's with a bit of fizzy wine. Oh, can't drink it with my mask on, though, can I? Try that again. used to be a thing. Emirates are definitely not here anymore. I wish. Wish I was flying Emirates first class today. Oh my god. So next up I need to make this experience nice and comfy. So I've come to WH Smith's to get myself a lovely neck pillow. I think I'm gonna go for it's gotta be one with planes, right? That should fit quite nicely. <laughs>
So we arrived at gate 30 at Stansted, which is where the flight is going to depart from. And one way that I've tried to make this even more first class is by paying for priority boarding. I think this whole queue might be priority, so I'm not sure how priority it's going to be, but let's go see. Yeah, thank you. Have your passenger locator form yeah. in the test vaccines? Vaccine. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Well, that was a little bit confusing. My priority wasn't really recognised. Um, so not feeling so first class now. The escalator's blocked off, so I'm going to schlep the bags down. And this looks not very first class. I hate this. Make you queue to make you queue. What's the point? It's starting to fall down now a little bit here. Just a little bit, still happy, still in my suit. So now I'm on board, the main way that I've managed to make this experience very first class is to sit in the best seat in the house, and that is seat 1A. It's right at the front of the plane right by the door, unlimited leg room. I mean, look at this, more leg room than you could ever know what to do with. Very spacious. The seat doesn't come with much, it doesn't recline, it's got a little armrest on the side here, and in the armrest here, you can pull out a little tray table, and that's about all you've got going on. But that's about all you need for a short flight like this. There's not much else going on in this seat, but the other trick that I did to ensure that I was gonna have lots of space is to book the seat next to me. It was only 15 pounds for the ticket, 20 quid to book this. So for 35 pounds, I've guaranteed an empty space right next to me. And let me tell you, this is feeling empty, spacious, and luxurious. I've literally got more space than I could ever need in this seat. It's pretty brilliant. If this isn't first class, I don't know what it is. So the final piece of the puzzle is the food. I'm pretty hungry and then on every first class flight you need to have a nice meal. I'm going to do a beef lasagna. I can see it right over here. I actually think I've got to go and get it myself. Here they are. Actually looks pretty good. I'm going to take my seat. Oh, it feels hot. Place you down. Pull out my tray table. Rich and sauce. <laughs> ah! That is rich and saucy, it's coming out the end. Definitely a rich and saucy lasagna. It's all over my hand. I feel like in first class you'd have somebody that, ah, help you do it, but needs must, I'm hungry. Beef lasagna on Ryanair, that is first class. That's actually delicious. It's a winner, thumbs up from me. Thank you. We've made it to Madrid, but was this a first class experience? Well, it was nice in the car, the experience at Stansted wasn't the best. People were rude at security, although we did have fast track and we jumped the queue. The lounge was okay. Boarding was a shambles. Sitting at the front of the plane, now that was a winner. That seat 1A is brilliant. Warm champagne, Prosecco. And actually a very tasty lasagna. It was all pretty good, but was it first class? Nah. But was it fun? You bet.